Now I'm going to use the example of prisoner's dilemma to illustrate another method of finding a Nash equilibrium. Our first step is to determine the row player's best response to each of column's possible strategies. Now, column has two possible strategies, in column one, to not confess, or in column two, to confess. Let's consider column one. Row's responses or payoffs would lead to negative one or zero. The better one is the bigger one, zero. Now, if column uses C2, row's payoffs would be either negative 10 or negative five. The bigger one, negative five, is his best response. The second step is for us to determine the column player's best response to each of Row's possible strategies. Now, if Row uses strategy R1, he's not going to confess. Column's payoffs will be either negative one or zero. The better of those, the bigger one, remember in a non-zero sum game, both players like big numbers, zero is his better response. Now, if Row uses R2, Column's payoffs are negative 10 or negative five. The better one is negative five. The final step, any outcome that's a best response for both players is a Nash equilibrium, meaning any ordered pair that has both numbers circled is going to be a Nash equilibrium. In this problem, negative five, negative five is our only Nash equilibrium.